Happy Saturday, folks, and welcome back to Injection of Inspiration, where every single Saturday right here on the show, I, Graham G.S. Matthews, give you your daily dose of motivational advice, helpful tips, etc., etc. And uh, today being April 8th, 2017, today marks the three-year anniversary of one of my ultimate, no pun intended, inspirational idols passed away, the ultimate warrior. Um, only one day removed from his return to Raw, two days removed from his uh, return to WrestleMania and three days removed from his uh, WWE Hall of Fame return speech. All that great stuff. And uh, Ultimate Warrior, I've been a huge fan of. And, you know, not really as a wrestler. Like, I, I found him, and I've talked about this before. The way I discovered him was, I already knew who he was, obviously, but um, I didn't discover who he really was and what he was all about and the fact that he was into motivational speaking and stuff like that. Until the summer of 2011, when I was going a lot, of, I was going through a lot of dark shit, and I found his videos on YouTube. Now you might be thinking, "Oh, this guy's talking about all this racy shit, you know, all this whatever," and he's ranting on and off. But at that point, anyway, when I started following him, he was putting out these videos that were pretty much exactly what I'm talking about right now: injection of inspiration. That's what he would call it, and that's why I stole the title from. Sorry, Warrior, but he inspired me again. No pun intended to do these injection of inspiration videos, and uh, they really became a, a, a form, a, a route for me to find inspiration and motivation and really help myself get through these dark times in the summer of 2011 and beyond. And from that point forward, he, from that point forward, he was an inspirational idol of mine, and unfortunately, contrary to what the title of this video says, I was never able to meet my idol. A lot of the idols that I've had throughout my life, wrestling-wise specifically, I think it was on this day a year ago on the random video blog. I did a video running down my top four or five favorite inspirational icons. I'm pretty sure it was Jericho, Punk, Miz, Regal? No, no, no. Regal wasn't on there. It was Jericho, Punk, Miz, um, Warrior, and Matt Hardy. Matt Hardy would just come back to the WWE just this past weekend. A man who I've met five times. I think maybe five, five or six I think five, and every single time I see him, he's a great dude. Another guy who had, you know, a lot of issues a couple years ago. So for the fact that he's back in WWE, even arguably more and you know more relevant, more popular than his brother Jeff is amazing. But he's another guy who, you know, I was there through his dark times, and he really helped through. He helped, really helped me through my dark times many years ago, and I looked up to him as an idol for that reason alone. And when I met him for the first time, about a year after that, a year after I started, I mean, I was already a fan of Matt Hardy, but. A year after I, he kind of helped me get through my dark times in the summer of 2012 when I met him, it was a surreal experience. And like I said, I met him four times after that, another time in 2014, uh, twice tw twice in 2015 and once in 2016, all on independent shows. And he, was, he remembered me every single time. He was great to me every single time. Really, 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 really nice dude. And it was always uh, cool to talk to him. So point being, meet your idols, but bottom line also... Have an idol. Like, find someone that you can idolize. And it's not like, oh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I'm going to look up to that person. It's not really that you choose your idols. It's not like you can choose your family or whatever, like that kind of thing. I've talked about that before. Idols are kind of the same way. I mean, you do choose them in a sense. But I feel like whoever inspires you, whoever, whoever motivates you, I mean, I guess motivation, whoever motivates you might be different um, than whoever inspires you. It's kind of the same thing, but not really. Um, you'll really just kind of find yourself resonating to that person, really finding similarities between you and that person, whether it be, it could be your mom, it could be your dad, it could be a friend, it could be someone you've never met, it could be a celebrity, it could be a professional wrestler, it could be an athlete, it could be a singer, celebrity, like I said, it doesn't really matter who it is, um, but you will find yourself resonating, you know, find yourself relating to that person. Be just because of what they've been through, and you may have been some, through something similar. Having those idols is so incredibly important uh, to kind of find the inspiration. And just because you are inspired by this person doesn't necessarily mean that you have to condone everything they do. Doesn't mean that everything they do is you know is godlike, and you have to you know you have to stand by everything they stand for. You can support someone, but then you can also you also have to be smart enough to realize that if they may do something that's not right. Um, that you don't believe is right, and I'm not saying you don't have to idolize them, that's the case, but you have to know the difference between right and wrong and their actions and shit like that, but um, bottom line, to have an idol in the first place is so incredibly important, 
And I mean, it's hard to say that without the warrior, I wouldn't be where I am today. Um, but I think as a person, I don't know if I would be. I think a lot of the life lessons I learned four or five years ago that have stuck with me through positive mental attitude and so on and so forth have really stuck with me through, you know, stuff that I learned from the warrior five, six years ago. And Matt Hardy as well, and including others from Punk and Jericho and, and, and Miz and other people I mentioned before. Again, you will not really choose your idol, so to speak, but you'll find people throughout your lifetime. It, again, it doesn't have to be a celebrity. It doesn't have to be someone that is larger than life. It doesn't even have to be someone that's real. It could be someone from a TV show, you know, a character whose um, ideals inspire you. It could be, you know, a character uh, uh, in wrestling that isn't real, someone that another person portrays. Like their ideologies inspire you to be a better person. Like that type of stuff is so important. I mean, you can always be, I don't want to say you can always be your own hero. That sounds conceited, but I've always said you will never need anyone to make you happy but yourself. And that is a hundred percent true. But at the same time, you need support, um, whether it be from someone that you know, or through someone you can uh, kind of not live vicariously through, but someone that you can follow in their footsteps and not become the second coming of them, but take bits and pieces from that person and this person and those people, and then kind of create your own identity, create your own image, create you, be you, and be inspired by different facets of different people's lives. With the warrior, it was the positive mental attitude, the always believe attitude that he portrayed in his wrestling persona, and especially in real life. With Jericho, it's everything that he does outside the ring, from the music, to the writing, to the wrestling, to the TV shows and shit. That's what inspires me about him. Um, with Miz, kind of the same thing. And Jericho kind of showing that you can do more than one thing, and that's who what makes you who you are. With people like... Um, I already named Jericho, I named Miz, people like Matt Hardy, people that, and I'm wearing his wristband right now, the Stronger Than Death wristband, someone that can overcome really anything, uh, you know, put in, in front of him, whether it be an obstacle, a personal issue, a demon, that's what inspires me about him. Um, so again, you can take these different life lessons and different ideologies from different people and apply them to your own life. And it's important to have idols and if possible, to meet those idols as well. The old adage that to never meet your idols, you'll be disappointed, is so far from the truth. I mean, I'm not saying in every instance your your idol won't be a dick. I mean, you know, and, and there are going to be instances, very rarely might I add, but there could be an instance where you meet this person, and they're not all that you thought they would be, but that's okay. Um, just the fact that you can meet them alone and tell them how much they mean to you I think to you it means a lot, and you you know you're really kind of focusing on it from your perspective, but you also gonna kind of have to think about how it makes them feel as well. I'm sure as a celebrity they get that quite a bit, but I'm sure it never really gets old for a lot of different people because I'm sure they were in that position as well at one point in their lifetime, many years earlier, if not still in that point in their lifetime. So to hear that, to give that to someone means a lot. To be inspired by someone, so find your idols. Do not be disappointed by who they are. Just know that they are actual real life people as you and I are, they're no different than any of us. Um, but they just might be on a bigger platform. If they are a celebrity, if they're your parents, they're your family, your friends, whatever. And that person's your idol. Never cease to tell them, um, you know, never cease to tell them that they inspire you in, in different ways, more ways than one. Always let that stuff be known uh, to those people. I'm sure they will never get tired of appreciating it. So that does it, guys. We want to keep it short and sweet. I mean, in terms of the usual length of injection of inspiration here today. Uh, next Saturday, we're talking about God knows what, who knows. Um, it's Easter week, and it will be probably home by next Friday, next Saturday. But I should have a new episode up next Saturday, nevertheless. So that being said, guys, be sure to follow me on the Twitter machine, as always, at WrestleRant. Find me on Facebook at facebook.com backslash graham.gsm.matthews. And be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, share the video, drop a comment. All that stuff is, as I said, amazingly appreciated. So that being said, guys, have an awesome rest of your weekend. Keep up that PMA. I'm Graham GSM Matthews, and I'll catch your ass down the road.